Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am back and happy 40th anniversary to the Power Rangers franchise. I'm so excited we have um 200 Power Rangers and I don't know how many bad guys they fight but it's let, let, let's just say it's a lot anyway. But yeah, happy 40th anniversary Power Rangers. Um wow, 40 series. That's a lot. And I hear that they might be coming out with a new one on Netflix soon called Cosmic Fury. So, um, yeah, that might be it as well. So anyways, um, today they just showed the new Power Rangers, um, special on Netflix. It's called Power Rangers Once and Always. And in case you're wondering, it's mostly focusing on the Mighty Morphin team than all the other teams. And um, I thought it was a good idea to celebrate um, the anniversary of Power Rangers by only sticking with the teams from the um, from Mighty Morphin. So, a little bit of a history. Yes, I have seen Power Rangers before when I was a kid. Um, it kind of felt like a once in a blue moon type of deal. Like, sometimes I will see it and sometimes I don't. I mean, I can watch all the episodes on Netflix, but in the past, it just, it, it, it just comes in yells for me. I, don't get me wrong, I love watching the Power Rangers series, but... That was a lot to get through. And yeah. And plus, um, most of it was on ABC Kids back in um, 2000 and I want to say 2002 through 2009. So yeah. Um, I did not watch that much of ABC Kids back when I was a kid, I, w I was mostly into like channels such as Folk Hits and Hits WB back when I was a kid. Because um, back then, I, I loved watching shows such as Pokemon, Yu Gi Oh!, Dragon Ball Z, um, Sonic. So, yeah, um, I have stumbled onto like a few episodes of Power Rangers sometimes. And, yeah, actually. Back when I was in preschool, my teacher, one of my teachers gave me Power Rangers action figures for, I think it was for like being a good student or, I don't know, I was too young back then. And I got five out of six Rangers, um, I got the red one, I got um, Jason, Tweeny, Wai, um, Zach, and Tommy. I did not I I did not have Kimberly because um Yeah, I, I just did not have her and the um Power Angels um action figures. I only had those five colors. And um yeah, that's what made me start watching Power Angels was because my teacher gave me um action figures back when I was a kid. So anyways, um, what's this movie about? Well, this movie... Oh, yeah. Let's ask this first. Does this movie take place in the main universe of Power Rangers? In my opinion, yes. Because in Power Rangers Dino Fury, one of the villains came back. And one of the villains was... General... Wait. Was he a general or was he an emperor? His, his name was Zed. Yeah, I, I think his name was um, King Zed or something like that. And they did say the reason why that um, Rita came back because um, they were always trying to revive Zoldan, the original mentor of Power Rangers. And um, yeah, that, the explanation that Rita gave actually makes sense because um, in space, um, in, in order to save the entire universe, um, I believe it was the Red Ranger, but it was 
a different person. I think it was TJ. Was that his name? He smashed um, Zodan's face in, and um, all the villains turned into it guys. So yeah, the explanation actually kind of makes sense. Anyways, so the movie is mostly um, fo uh, focused on the Yellow Angel's daughter, Mindy, and she wants to fight Rita. She wants to um, defeat Rita because um, Rita um, destroyed um, Tweeny, and she wants to be a Power Angel. Um, and Zack told her that she can't be a Power Angel because um, she's not fighting for justice. She's fighting for vengeance, which is actually interesting. And um, I thought the ending was actually good. I was making jokes that Rita was going back to 1993 while I was watching it. And um, yeah, I don't know if they were showing like actual footage of the original series or if they were showing... Um, stock footage or other type of footage in the um, series of Mighty Morphin but yeah yeah it was actually good I love that Rita was trying to make a time machine to go back in time to destroy the Power Rangers before Zoldan held, held them I thought that sounded like a really good plot, plot point in my opinion um, they did put back Young Rita's henchmen, which names I actually forgot. But, um, yeah, we got the books hit. And, um, they tone giant because Rita says whole magic spell, and um, the Power Rangers beat him by summoning the Megazord. Um, Yeah, we defeat the bad guy, um, Rita and her henchmen, and they celebrate by, um, going to a juice ball and drinking juice, because that's also referencing, um, the original Power Rangers series. I'm pretty sure most people will all kind of upset that Boat and Skill will not in this movie, even though that we see their faces on a poster or on a billboard. But, in my opinion, it kind of makes sense why, because, um, sometimes hiring the white actors is really hard. Like, you have to find them, and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. Um. Let's see, what, what else? Um, what was my favorite part? Um, my favorite part is, um, when Mindy was riding on Billy's hovel hill and she was saving people. I, I thought that, um, scene was amazing. And, um, who do I like? Who, who are my favorite hill tools? Um, my favorite hill tools are Zach. And Mindy. Because, um, the reason why I write Zach in this movie, because, um, he was really nice helping out Mindy when, um, Tweeny got obliterated by Rita Wilposa. Yeah, that was actually really nice. And, um, I actually like that they used the Mighty Morphin, um, theme song again. Because in the um, other series, um, they do not use that theme for some reason in the anniversary specials or episodes. I'm pretty sure they were only saving the original Mighty Morphin theme song when it comes to like um, the um, original team um, coming back. Which, um, yeah, that actually makes sense. And I actually like the cameos that we've seen in um, this movie. We get to see cameos such as Tommy and Kathleen. 
uh, make a return, but they got the best hit and catch captured. Speaking of which, they did say in the movie that Rita has captured a lot of rangers. Are you telling me that there was like other rangers around the world? Even though we have seen them in like different dimensions, like RPM or um, Space Patrol, Space Patrol Delta. Did she hit that? Did she hit that? Other rangers from different time periods or different areas around the world? Or did she just kidnap the Mighty Morphin team? Because, um... If she only kidnapped the Mighty Morphin team, then wouldn't the other rangers know that they are being, um... imprisoned by Rita Raposa? That's a very good question. But anyways, yeah, in summary, um, I thought that the Power Rangers movie, once and always, um, was actually really good. I actually liked that they brought back the Mighty Morphin team, even though it's not the same voice actors or actors and actresses that we knew from, um, the early 90s because some of them are um, doing other things and some of them, well, yeah. But yeah, um, this has been my Power Rangers Once and Forever, I mean, ah, Once and Always. Actually, Once and Forever sounds like a better title in my opinion. Oh well. Anyways. Oh yeah, Alpha. What do I think about Alpha? I do not like him. <laughs> Seriously, Alpha was kind of annoying. Even though he had like a small role, he was a little bit annoying. Oh well. Oh yeah. Yeah, um... I thought it was good, I thought, um... We, it felt like that we were revisiting um, the Mighty Morphin team from like what happened after the events of the original Power Rangers and I actually like that. So yeah, in case you're wondering, um, that's my review of Power Rangers once and always. And next week is draft week in the WWE, ladies and gentlemen, even though that two Sets of titles are mulched for whatever reason. I I'm pretty sure we're gonna um, take one set of the tag team championships off of Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. But I don't know if that's gonna happen, but it would be awesome if it did. And as for Roman Reigns, I'm pretty sure that Roman Reigns is gonna stay as a free agent. Because he has two title belts, so sorry. I, I don't think the... Um, Undisputed championship is going to get split anytime soon. Because, um, they want Roman Reigns to hit that 1,000 mark. And, yeah. Anyways, always be a champion. Next time we're talking about the draft. And, um, yeah. Happy anniversary, pal, Angels. Once a Angel, always a Angel. And I'm out. <laughs>